believe I did that. All right, guys, we've done everything here at part one. We did the binding, part two. We downloaded the files and set up our radio. Part three, we are going to plug into Betaflight, and we're going to see what happens, okay? So there's really not much to do once you get this into Betaflight. Uh, let me go ahead and remove the bottom panel off because all the settings that we just uploaded are pretty much done. The only thing I'm going to do in this is I'm going to change the um, when it arms because the way they have it set, it will arm, and I'll show you real quickly here. So if you look, if you look at the uh, screen now, when I log into Betaflight, um, it's got the arm bike. Now I've changed mine already, but by default, it's got the arming mode um, all the way to third position. Well, I like it to be in middle and third position. So you can see here, if you do this, you're probably gonna see it look more like that. And it means it'll only arm when it's in third position. I like to move mine to where if it's in the middle as well, it does it. I always flip it to third, but my reason for that is if I accidentally bump it, it doesn't cut midair, okay? So I move mine there. Other than that, everything else is done. Everything else is already preset for you, so you're good to go. So at this point, guys, there's not much left to do. The VTX portion of this, we will um, go over uh, later uh, because it does take, a, it is a little extensive and I cannot turn it on right now while I'm doing a video because it'll interrupt our wireless signal. So beta flight's done, so, and everything is saved here. So you have your modes. This is, uh, mode one is in top position is gonna be acro. Mode two, it's gonna be angle, and mode three is horizon. Keep in mind, guys, that in acro, it flies like a drone. And then here, what happens is it basically stays level, and you just, in, in horizon, you can, and you'll see these turning. Look, I'm in horizon mode, I turn this, and this dictates what happens, but the quad stays level the whole time, okay? So um, this is more like, uh, uh, and when you're in regular mode, um, you use your sticks like normal. But um, what you need to keep in mind is that and a drone, we're used to it pitching forward and going. Uh, that's not necessarily the case here, okay? But in horizon mode, um, you can keep it level and just let this thing move on its own and adjust your tilt slider. It's pretty neat. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff to play with this. You can even wipe out all these modes and just go like a normal drone entirely. Um, so you kind of decide what you want to do there. Other than that, though, if you have any questions, guys, that pretty much does it. I mean, that's a very simple setup. The VTX is the only thing that can get a little complicated, and I'll, I, I've already got a video out there. I may just link to that video because it does interrupt what we're doing here um, with our, our wireless signal. If you have any other questions, please head over to our groups page, uh, and uh, you can ask any questions you need, or you can hit me up from our website contact. And uh, again, please, please, please support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and let other people know about us. It's the best I can ask. My wife's back there kicking butt. Say what's up, Sam. And uh, so we work pretty hard here, and we just love your support. We appreciate it. Other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. And most of all, spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it. You can always fly later. Okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.